Hi, CodeMonkey here. Last week we talked about using gravity in Phaser 3. Now we're going to take that same file and put in jumping. We're going to go over two different kinds of jumps. One, the simple jump that works against the gravity, something similar to like in a Flappy Bird game. And the other is a long jump, jumping higher based on how long you hold the pointer down. So let's get started. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. So in the last video, I showed you about how to make a ball fall using gravity. And if you haven't seen that, there's the link up there at the top of the video. But what if we want to make the ball jump? Well, we've got the gravity pulling it down. So really all we need to do is to set the velocity to a negative number. Let me show you. Now here's the code that we've had before. I've cleaned it up a little bit, put in some comments. Now we just need to add this input on pointer down, this jump, and this for the scope. And then we make that function jump. And we do have a bit of a problem here though because ball is a local variable in create. So we need to change let ball to this ball to make it a class member so we can refer to it down here in the jump function. This ball set gravity and on the collider as well, this ball. And then we say this ball set velocity y and for example negative 100. And there the ball goes up and the gravity pulls it back down. And we can keep clicking to go up and the gravity will pull it back down. That's how Flappy Bird was made by the way. But what if we wanted to change it so the longer that we press the button down, the higher the ball will go. Well, we can change this jump function to a start jump, just to be clear about it. And then we can set a timer to keep going as long as the button is pushed down. And then we'll end the jump when the mouse or the finger is released from the screen. This input on pointer up, this in jump. We'll need a variable to keep track of the power. And we'll just say this power equals zero up here at the top of the create. And we need a function for the timer to update the power. And we'll call it tick and this power plus equals, and we'll do it at 10%, point 0.1. So as long as the mouse is down, that will happen. So all we need to do now is to put in the timer, and I'm gonna grab it over here from phasergames.com timer snippets, because it is a bit lengthy and it's easy to make mistakes on it. So in the start jump then, this time add event delay in seconds, and we're going to put it down pretty low, a tenth of a second or 100 milliseconds. The callback function is tick. This tick, the callback scope and loop, we can leave the same. Loop is true. And we do need to put that on a variable. So we'll say this timer equals this time add event. And in the end jump, this timer remove. And then we need to call the velocity on the ball. We can copy this line again. This ball set velocity negative this power times, we'll say 50. And then we need to set the power back to zero. And for now, to see the power, we'll simply log it out to the console. Console log this power. One little mistake there, timer remove, not remover. So let's try that out. Let the ball fall down. I'll hold the mouse down. We see the power going up. Let me make it go up more, 2.5, 3.5. So the longer we hold it down, the higher the ball will jump then. We can increase that power a bit 
this power times, let's say 200. Refresh. And there, let me hold it down really long. Let's get up to about 10. And there we go, 7.5, whoa. So we would want to put a limit in that. So, so let's say, for example, if this power is less than five, then we can keep adding to it. Smooth those lines inside those brackets. Let's see, we'll get it up to five and it stays there, which is still pretty high. So I can take that down a bit, power times 100. And you could just play around with it until you get it right. But that's how I do jumping in Phaser 3 using Arcade Physics. I hope this has been helpful to you, and thanks for watching.